Hi everyone and welcome to Cassidy's Craft Corner. In this video I'm going to show you how to create this really cute chalkboard plaque. I really really love this idea. This um, wooden plaque has been sitting in my craft area for the longest time and I just haven't figured out a way to create something with it and I finally figured out what to do with it and this you can personalize however you want since you make it a chalkboard you can draw whatever you want on it put sayings on it whatever you want um, I'll show you how I created the border of this I mixed a few colors um, to create this blue that I wanted and I also show you how I created the middle chalkboard so let's get started in the video before we get started in showing in me showing you how to make the chalkboard plaque, you need to know what materials you need. So to start off, you will need a placemat to cover the surface so you don't ruin your table. Then you will need wax paper, and this stuff is great. You put your paints, you pour a little bit of your paints on here, and then when you have excess paint left over from your project, you wait for it to dry, and you can just peel it right off and it is brand new afterwards. Now the most important supply you'll need is chalkboard paint. I'll tell you right now this can get messy, it's pitch black paint, um, so just be very very careful with this. And then I used three paints and I mixed them. This one, they're all by Liquid X Basics and this one is primary blue titanium white and light blue permanent and I mixed a little bit of each together. The next thing you'll need is sponge tools. This one um, is rectangular and I used it for the um, colored paints and then this one I used for the chalkboard paint for the center. Then um, this is totally optional. If you're not mixing um, colors and you're just using one color paint, then you will not need this paintbrush, but I'm using a shader brush and I mixed all my blues and whites together with this brush. And then the final brush I have is by Contemporary Crafts and it is number 74 round brush and this I touched up the edges a little bit after I put my chalkboard paint on my um, surface of my plaque. So now that you know all the ingredients, now let's get started in how to make it. Alright, to start off I'm going to be taking the blue I made with my white, light blue, and dark blue paints and I'm going to paint that on my border of my plaque. I think this was the perfect blue that I made. Then I decided to paint a second coat of blue on it because I thought it needed to be a bit more opaque. Now for the really, really fun part. 
is putting the chalkboard paint on. So here I'm putting one coat on and I really recommend putting on really thin coats. You can always add more coats on little by little. Now I'm putting this coat on and then I'm going to wait a full hour for the chalkboard paint to dry. After it dries, I will put another coat on top. I did about three coats all together. After you put all your coats on of the chalkboard paint for it to be fully opaque, you have to wait 24 hours for it to cure. After the 24 hours is up, I p took a very small paintbrush and touched up the edges a little bit with my blue paint that I made again. Then after that paint dries a little bit, I will take some chalk and condition the chalkboard paint because this was on the instructions on the packaged paint, so I definitely recommend doing this step. And then I took an eraser and erased it all off. I recommend doing this over a trash can because there will be a lot of excess chalk coming off of it. And then you are all finished. Here you will see me writing happy 4th because it was just recently 4th of July. I hope you had a great holiday and if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.